Hyatt's Cayman Reynolds, and just because it's November or December or whatever time of the year it is, if your bees need feed, they need it. And you can feed them this emergency feed method that is extremely cheap, very quick, very effective, and all those varies. So let's get in this hive right here. It's one of our TDNs, our, what we call our temporary double nucleus. It's a little bit different than some of them out there. Okay, you see the bees cluster on top. These are what were mating nucleuses late in September. And you know, they, they need feed. I checked them. They are definitely low. They're, they're actually pretty healthy little colonies. But they're going to need some food if they're going to survive to next year. So we're going to give them the TLC that they need. Now, what we want to do real quick, and this won't take very long. It's very simple. Is we're just going to pop this right here. And we are going to take this parchment paper. Now, I recommend newspaper, but I don't have any right now. Really what I recommend is feeding them two to one or a thick syrup prior to your winter. But if you're like me, you have always a couple colonies that are a little light. You didn't get around to or something. So this method works very good. And now we are going to take this right here. And we're just going to mess that just a little bit with some water. Now you could use one-to-one -one sugar syrup. That would work too. Now we're going to smoke the bees down really good. We don't want any getting trapped between the frames and the sugar. And now we are going to take this bag of sugar right here. It would be better if we had another four-pound bag. So this is what we're going to do for now. And we're letting that moisture that's on the parchment kind of soak into that just a little bit. Then we've added some of it, and now we're spritzing it down. We're not trying to add a whole lot of moisture, but enough that it creates basically a brick over the next couple of days. It won't take long at all. The nice thing about this is not only does it help our bees survive because it's food that they can use, but then on top of that, as the bees get moisture from condensation, all over themselves or in the hive when they get a day where they can really get up in this they can get rid of that moisture by depositing it in the sugar and making it easier for them to take it in kind of like they're making their own thick syrup all right so now now we definitely could have added more sugar than this we're going to just make a couple really tiny slits we don't want real big ones we don't want it to go down in between but just enough where the bees can kind of pull that parchment paper apart, start chewing it away so they can get access to it. So I'm making probably about eighth inch to quarter inch slits right in between the frames. And this is over the next week or two, the bees are gonna widen all that up. And of course, at the time that the bees really open this up, it's going to be just solid bricks at that point. This is also called by some the mountain camp sugar method, but this kind of feeding has been used for well over a century in various forms. It's really not that new. So now we're going to take our little divider here so they can get to one another. I'm going to stick that right there. And now we are going to stick our little insulative board on top. And now our bees are going to be just fine. We did this on many small mating nukes last year. We did it on, I think, about 40 or 50 of them, and it worked fantastic. We only lost one or two, and they were kind of the ones that looked really puny anyways. And there's no reason we can't come back on a nice warm-ish day. You know, 40s would be nice, but if you can't get it, 30s will work too, in January, February, or March, or whenever, and reapply as the bees consume it. So there's, there's nothing fancy with this. One thing I really want to say, though, is there's other methods you can use. You can make some bricks in the house, sugar bricks. You can buy fondant from a company like Man Lake and other companies that sell fondant. You can also make some slurries and mix of your own. There's a lot of recipes out there for bricks that have apple cider vinegar in them or regular vinegar or vitamin C or they'll have some essential oils or this or that or electrolyte, mix, electrolyte mixes from the uh, 
co-ops and stuff. I personally don't like using that stuff because one, I've used this for several years and it works perfectly. There's nothing wrong with using this and the beasts really don't need all those additives. Now there's nothing wrong with it. I know some beekeepers who are very successful who add a bunch of stuff into their sugar bricks and stuff and it obviously works for them. But for me, I'm one of those guys, it works good without it. So why would I add it? The bees need it just for fuel to warm the hive anyways. If you have any comments or questions, leave it below. Thanks for watching the video.